holidays to you as well. <coughs> Bye! Oh, Simone, we received a special package from our friends at the Game Theater via the United States Postal Service. Yeah, well, let's see what it is. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. This is such a wonderful and thoughtful gift from our friends. That is a beautiful book. Oh, and it's a beautiful story. It is? Oh, yeah. It's a Christmas carol. And it's a story about a greedy, unhappy man named Ebenezer Scrooge. <gasps> Simone? Yeah? That doesn't sound very beautiful. Oh, well, he learned a beautiful lesson. Hmm. Mm. Wait, wait. A Christmas carol? Yeah. Hmm. Isn't this the story that's been done like a million times? <laughs> well, this one's different. Oh? Mm -hmm. Is it the Las Vegas holiday pudding party version? No. No? Perhaps the avant-garde Jonas Mechlis a Christmas claghorn? Oh, I've never heard of that. No? How about the delightful William Shatner version, A Kirkmas Carol? I didn't even know that existed. Oh, it exists, Simone. YouTube. <laughs> well, it's not that one either. There's so many. Yeah. Is it a Christmas karaoke? No. A Christmas carrot? No. Christmas karate? No. A Christmas karanga? No. Christmas karma? No. Sancho, the Christmas donut? That doesn't even exist. It's Turkish. A Christmas caribou? No. A Christmas Carmen? No. A Christmas cardio? No. A Christmas carapace? No. A Christmas carry on my wayward son? No. A Christmas carbuncle? No. A Christmas carbonara cadenza? Oh, okay. I think we should stop. But Simone, there's one more. Oh, is there? Mm-hmm. As it happens, Earlobe and I were working on our very own version. <laughs> <laughs> that takes place in the intergalactic nebula Gamma Remodula, where Captain Admiral Picardo faces the ornery Crambulons. Scrooge goes to outer space. <laughs> it's never been done before. Seek old Astra. <laughs> Well, that sounds amaze buns. Um, but we have a special production from the game players. They might be games. <laughs> they might be. So why don't we give this a read and see how it goes? Okay, that sounds good. That seems reasonable, right, Yulu? Yep, we'll just have our version on standby. That seems reasonable, too. <clears throat> Super cool. 
cool snow, <laughs> let's go. Now that's your cue to get in place. Simone, can we tell you from space? Oh, Simon, let's just give a cheer. For, for the, the game, game players are here. It's the Game Players Annual Christmas Carol Show. We're here to bring you cheer up this special time of year. It's the Game Players Annual Christmas Carol Show. Shall we? A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. The streets of London, England. It's December. Snow and the sounds of Christmas float through the air. Outside of the offices of Scrooge and Marley. Marley was dead. Dead as a doornail. Wait, what, Simone? I thought this was a beautiful Christmas story. <laughs> well, it does have a couple of scary moments, but I promise it ends well. Mm, okay, Simone. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, thank you. Marley was dead. Dead as a doornail. Ew. And on this Christmas Eve, it had been years since Jacob Marley had worked alongside his partner, Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge, a stingy old man who cared for nothing but his riches. Scrooge's whole life was consumed with nothing but money, greed, and business. But this was a day that would fare differently for Mr. Scrooge, for it was a Christmas he would never forget. Cratchit! Uh, yes? Uh, Mr. Scrooge, I've finished the count and... Is someone at the door? As perceptive as a lump of wall paste. Send them away. Oh, hello, kind sirs! And merriest of holidays to you! Oh, I'm sorry, young lady, but, uh, oh dear. Yep, she came right in. Okay, um, what is it we can do for you? I'm simply asking for the most generous of donations for those less fortunate on this Christmas Eve. And I was wondering if you or your... Ah. Oh. Humbug! Oh, sir, uh, Mr. Scrooge, this, this kind young lady. Kind? I'll say. What kind of person goes around asking for things door to door? A poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. But, sir... Oh, but, sir, me, young lady, this is a place of business. Sir, if I may, I am asking for help for others less fortunate. Many thousands are in want of common necessaries. Hundreds of thousands are in want of common comforts, sir. Are there no workhouses? Are there no debtors' prisons? Many, sir. I wish we could say there were not. Miss, I support the establishments I have mentioned. They cost enough, and those who are poorly off must go there. Many can't go there, and many would rather die. If they would rather die, then they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. That is not my affair. Good day. I'm sorry, sir. Good day. Now, oh, Cratchit, there are collection notices to be sent. Scrooge, Mr. Cratchit. What is with all the interruptions? Oh, a very Merry Christmas to you both. I come bearing good tidings. Tis the merriest of seasons. Why, Miss Frida, a Merry Christmas to you too. Humbug. Niece, 
Why come to disrupt the business day with all your frolicking and numbing merriment? Christmas a humbug. You don't mean that, I'm sure. Today is a magical day. And I come with news. I am having a party tomorrow, and I wish you to come. For it will be the most festive festivity of festivuses, and it would mean a great deal if you would join me and my friends. Frida, I have no festive bone in my body, and if, by accident, I were to become so, I wouldn't be seen with the youngsters of your class. I refuse your invitation and wish you to get your head out of the clouds. What reason have you to be merry? You're poor enough. What right have you to be morose and dismal? You're rich enough. Oh, don't be cross, uncle. What else can I be? If I had my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Keep Christmas in your way and let me keep it in mine. Wow, Simone. I'm not sure I like this story. Scrooge is kind of a cake face. Simon, you have to remember to mute. We don't really refer to people as cake face. <clears throat> but admittedly, he is a bit of a cake face. <laughs> Wouldn't you say, Bob? Well, as employers go, I'll just say... He has some rough edges. Well, we try to use our words in a constructive manner. Besides, we're just getting to know the characters, and sometimes people can surprise you. <clears throat> this is my uncle we're talking about? I'm right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, now where were we? Keep Christmas in your way, and let me keep it in mine. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Scrooge, I dare say you don't keep Christmas. Let me leave it alone, then. A lot of good it's ever done you. One doesn't have to profit from something in order for it to be good. And though it's never put a scrap of silver in my pocket, I believe Christmas has done me good, and I say God bless it. Here, here. Bah! At least consider coming for dinner tomorrow evening. Good afternoon. I am sorry with all my heart to find you so determined. But the invitation stands, Uncle, and I shall keep that good spirit to the last. So Merry Christmas, Uncle! Good afternoon. And a Happy New Year! Good afternoon! Hmm. I don't think I could invite such a grumpy person to dinner. Could you, Simone? I don't know. He does seem kind of grumpy. Yeah, he's as grumpy as a cremulon. You know, a cremulon. A mean group of aliens that are featured in the hit Scrooge Goes to Outer Space <laughs> by Simon and Earlobe. Available on iTunes. <laughs> well, I would hate for anyone, even cremulons, to be lonely during the holidays. <sighs> I suppose you're right, Simone. But I would probably only serve Scrooge old salami sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. Latch the door, Cratchit. Oh, now it reminds me. I have to. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Scrooge, I was wondering. What? Out with it. It's evening, sir. Is it? Christmas evening, sir. Uh, I suppose you'll want all day off tomorrow, being as it's Christmas and all? Well, if it's, you know, quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient, and it's not fair. If I was to deduct half a crown from your salary for it, you'd think yourself ill-used, wouldn't you? Still, you expect me to pay a day's wage for a day of no work. It's just once a year, sir. Oh, very well. Then I will expect you an hour early the day after tomorrow and not another word about it. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Then off. Off! 
Yes, sir. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge, sir. And having closed for the day, a miserable Ebenezer Scrooge trudged home through the cold, busy streets. Christmas carols. Bah! Begging for pennies. Humbug! The wind grew bitter. The night grew blacker. Bear! Until he came to a gloomy, drab building with a great wooden door. There, Scrooge fumbled for his keys. Oh, where are my keys? Blessed and cold. Ah, there they are. Just then, the gold knocker upon the door transformed, and he thought he saw the face of his dead partner, Jacob Marley. Oh, are you all right, Simon? I'm not scared, Simone. Nope, not at all. Oh, good. For neither was Scrooge. He was a man unfrightened by echoes. Nonsense. And quickly made his way to his chambers. Ha. Poppycock. Where he readied himself for bed. Boulder Dash. Humbug. Ebenezer. <laughs> Jacob Marley? In life, that is who I was. No, I, I won't believe it. Why do you doubt your senses? Because little things affect them. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard, or fragment of an underdone potato. There's more of gravy than the grave to you. Oh, mercy, dreadful apparition. Why do you trouble me? You <laughs> begin to give one. Aware the chain I forced in life. Link by link, yard by yard, I girded the weight and sorrow of each shackle by my own free will and greed. And poor Ebenezer, I regret to tell you the weight of the chain you bear for yourself. It was as heavy and long as this. Seven Christmases ago, it is a ponderous chain. You were always a good man of business, Jacob. Business? Charity, mercy, benevolence, those were my business. Jacob, I implore you, why have you come to me now? Speak comfort to me. As your heart as you see the cash of the in the corruption and in the limits of your money changing in existence. I am here to warn the world. You have yet a chance to escape by my fate. You were always a good friend to me, Jacob. You will be haunted by three ghosts. I. I think I'd rather not. You will have an awakening this coming age. Expect, Expect the, the first civic tomorrow, when the bell tolls one. Look out your window. Scrooge, do you see the phantoms of the night? Each of them tormented by the same chains of arborists that you and I have been. Oh, Jacob.
nervously, Scrooge closed the window and examined the door by which the ghost had entered. It was double locked and the bolts were undisturbed. He tried to say, but couldn't. And from all the emotion he had undergone and the lateness of the hour, he fell asleep upon the instant. <sighs> okay, Simone. I will admit that was a little bit scary. I will too. What happened next? Did they launch a space missile? Because Earlobe and I wrote a really great scene where Scrooge flies through a hyperspace wormhole. Scrooge was awakened by the heavy bells of a neighboring church. It was so dark that he could scarcely distinguish the windows from the walls of his chamber. Ebenezer! Hello? Ebenezer! Could it be true? Could I be visited by b b Hello! <gasps> Ebenezer, don't be alarmed! Are you the first of the spirits whose coming was foretold to me? I am. I am. I'm the I'm ghost, ghost of Christmas, of Christmas past. past. Long past? No, no. Your, your past. past. And I have come, I have a, come long a long way, way from a lifetime, lifetime ago. 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 Uh, might I inquire then, spirit, what business is it that brings you here? Your welfare. Your welfare. I can't help but think a good night's sleep might be more helpful to that end. Your reclamation, Your reclamation then. then. Come, Come rise, rise and fly with, with me now. Me now. Join, Join me on a journey. journey. Trust, Trust in the, in the night, night, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Here, we, Here go. we go. I know this place, this school, Christmas time. Everyone had gone home for the holidays. Not all. Not all. A, solitary a solitary child, child neglected by his, by his friends and family, family is left here left still. still. I am just a boy here. Yes, yes. Reading. reading. What I what wonder. wonder. Oh, nonsense, probably. All make-believe and take me away. Alibaba and genies and Robinson Crusoe alone on his island. It's a child's way at stories, nonsense. Yes, nonsense. Poor child. Poor child. These are These only are shadows, shadows of things, of things that, that have been. been. Ebby? Ebenezer! Fan! My sister Fan! Brother! Dear brother! Oh, Fan! Oh dear Fan, what are you doing here? Well, I've come to bring you home, Ebby. Home for good and ever. Father's so much kinder than he used to be. Come with me, come now. Oh, you are quite the resourceful woman, little fan. A delicate, delicate child. She had a large heart. She died, she died a woman, a woman and had, 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 as I remember, I remember children. children. One child. Your niece. Your niece. Yes, yes, Frida, my niece. Well, we all have sadness, don't we, spirit? Come, Come let's, let's move, move on. on. <laughs> Wait a minute, Simone. <laughs> What's the matter, Simon? Uh, Aerobe? Are you guys okay? I think we have something in our eyes. <laughs> Yeah, butter. <laughs> yeah, we have butter in our eyes. <laughs> I understand. You know, this is a really sad part of the story. It's okay to feel sad. Should we take a break, or should I continue? Um, yeah, I guess it's okay. Maybe we need a happy song. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. 
then that's good news because the Fezziwig scene is coming up and they're happy people and I'm sure they have a happy song. What I think Earlobe meant to say, Simone, is that we wrote a happy song for our version of Scrooge Goes to Outer Space. <laughs> she music. Oh. Kremulon Dance Party? Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> Please. I can't make any promises, but we'll see. Can I get back to the story? <laughs> well, we all have sadness, don't we, spirit? Come, come, come. let us move, let us on. move on. Oh, this is old Fezziwig's warehouse. The old enemies are <laughs> Fezziwig. It's Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig. I apprenticed under them both. Your employer? Oh, yes. And the best that any boy could have. And, and that young scat is me. Right here, Mr. Fezziwig, Mrs. Fezziwig. Oh, it seems we have an envelope for you. Yes. I wonder if it's a Christmas bird. <laughs> I don't think so. It's from a gentleman named Murray. <laughs> Murray? Oh. I know of no Murray. Murray who? Merry Christmas, Christmas Ebenezer! Bonus! <laughs> oh, yo ho, lad. No more work tonight. It's Christmas Eve. You know what that means. The <laughs> Have the shutters up? We want lots and lots of space. Before you can say Jack Robinson. <laughs> Jack Robinson. Wow, a party, Simone. Yes, an extraordinary party. In came a fiddler who played like an entire orchestra. In came the three Fezziwig daughters, beaming and followed by the six young lads whose hearts they broke. In came all the young men and women employed by the Fezziwigs. In came the housemaid, her cousin, the baker, the cook, and the milkman. Hi! In they all came, one after another. Shyly, boldly, gracefully, pushing, pulling. In they all came, anyhow and everyhow. It is my great pleasure to announce that this year was the most successful year. Therefore... We wish to share it with you. <laughs> Joyous seasons are upon us, so dance and eat and eat and dance. <laughs> and now, kind fiddler, if you please, it is time for our annual traditional dance, the Sir Roger de Coverley. Oh, wait, wait. it's nay on Sir Hugare. Um, our annual traditional dance of the evening, the um, no, yeah, uh, new sheet music. What, what is this? What is this? Why are we doing you know what this? Is? We talked about it before. We do the same thing every year. It doesn't Why matter. We want you to do this right now. What is so special about it? Come on. Uh -huh. Hey, it seems we'll be presenting a new traditional dance this year. We're so glad you are our guest tonight. Love and joy and Christmas lights. There's ivy and, and holly and a holiday tree. This feast to fill our bellies full. A chilling night of vessel. The best Christmas dance across the galaxy.
a new dance crew that you gotta enjoy. wonderful party from a wonderful master. It seems a trivial, a trivial matter, matter, all this nonsense, nonsense, to make silly make folks, folks so full of gratitude. gratitude. But it's not trivial. Is it, Is not? it not? Has he spent, spent a few pounds, pounds of your of mortal your money? money? Is that Is so that much so that much he deserves, deserves this praise? praise? But it wasn't the money. He had the power to make us happy, to make our service light or burdensome. The happiness he gives is quite as great as if it had cost a fortune. That's what a good master is. If you, if say, you so, say so, Master, master Scrooge. Scrooge. What, is, what it? is it? I... I should like to be able to say a word or two to my clerk, Bob Cratchit, just now. That's all. My time grows short, sure, Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Quick, quick. quick. Five hundred thirty-four, five hundred thirty-five, five hundred thirty-six. Ebenezer, please, Abby, I need to speak with you. Oh, my lovely Isabel, can it be? I am concerned, my love. Bah, now I've lost my count. What, what is it? Ebenezer, I see now I have been replaced. Another idol has stolen your affection. Idol? What idol? A golden one. Money. Why do you hate money so? There is nothing on this earth worse than a life doomed to poverty. What is wrong with the honest pursuit of substance? Money and wealth have made you another man. You fear the world too much, Ebenezer. You are changed. A man I do not recognize. My feelings for you have not changed. You are changed. When we met, you were a different man. <sighs> I was simply a boy. I miss that boy. And I've grown separated from the man before me. What is it you are saying? I'm saying... I'm saying I have to release you. I have not sought your release. In words, no, never. But in a changed nature, an altered spirit you have. Say something, you fool! May you be happy in the life you've chosen. Go after her! 
humbug. Spirit, show me no more. Why do you delight in torture of me? <laughs> Remove me from this place. I take me back, I beg you. I already, I already told, told you. you. These, are, These shadows are shadows of things that, things that have, have been. been. They are, they what, are they what they are. They are. Do, not do not blame me. me. They are they what are they, what are. they are. are. Do not blame me. They are what they are. Do not blame me. I cannot bear it. I cannot haunt me no longer, spirit. Haunt me no Knock, knock. Knock, 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 Scrooge. Who, who's there? Dexter. Dexter. I know no Dexter. Dexter who? Dexter Halls with, with boughs of holly. Spirit, conduct me where you will. Tonight, if you have aught to teach me, let me profit by it. All, All in due time. time. Touch, Touch my, my robe, robe friend, friend, and travel, and travel with me to the, to the world of the, of the living. living. Mother, when will father be home? It is nearly dinner time on the eve of Christmas. Oh, patience, dear Martha. Now we both know that your father works for that Mr. Scrooge and it would be no surprise for him to be held late on today of all days for your father to be held from his family. <laughs> well, here's tiny Tim. Oh, <laughs> Wearing his Sunday best. <laughs> He's wearing a white mother. It's his new Christmas outfit, I think. <laughs> yes, it's his Christmas outfit. Oh, why, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, look, out the window. There's father coming now. How, Martha? How? Well, hello, and happy Christmas, my dear. Why, bless your heart alive, Bob Cratchit, how late you are. I know, I'm very sorry, my dear, for there was a great deal of work to be done. But I'm home now. Wherever are the children? They're not coming. Not coming upon Christmas Day. They're in outer space. Outer space, right, right. On on Christmas Day. Outer <laughs> space. <laughs> we got you, Father. We got you. We're on Earth. <laughs> oh, Father, it is so good for you to be home. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Martha, you are too sweet for words. And and how is Tiny Tim? Oh, as good as gold. The Christmas spirit shines bright in him among his many challenges. Spirit, to what challenges may she be referring? Tiny, Tiny Tim, Tim has, has been, been Ill, Ill since he was a, he was very, a very young, young child. child. He bears, he a, bears crutch a crutch that helps, that helps him, to, him walk. to walk. It is not, not yet not certain how his how tail, tail will fare. fare. My boy. So wonderful to see you up and about. There is to be a feast for all of us on this most happy evening. Spirit, there is such joy in this modest and poor home. A toast. A toast. To Mr. Scrooge, the founder of our feast. 
the founder of our feast indeed. I could give him a piece of my mind to feast on, and I'd hope that he would have a good enough appetite for it. My dear, the children, and it's Christmas Eve. Well, it could only be Christmas Eve where one would drink to the health of such an, an odious, and stingy, and unfeeling man as Mr. Scrooge. I'll drink to his health for your sake and the holiday upon us. Thank you, dear. Here, here. God bless us everyone, when dinners are missed down, the pins are stolen, happy me. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la. Spirit, what will become of Tiny Tim? I see a vacant seat in the chimney corner and a crutch without an owner. Carefully, Carefully preserved. preserved. No, no. Oh, no, kind spirit. Say he will be spared. If the, if poor, the poor are to, are die, to die, so, so be, it. be it. And decrease, and decrease the, surplus the surplus population. population. Come, come, come. There is more, more to more see, to Ebenezer. 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 And then he said that Christmas was a humbug of all things. I mean, as I live, Christmas. And he believed it too. He really is a comical old fellow. His wealth is of no use to him and he doesn't do any good with it either. Spirit, this is my niece's home. What are we doing here? I feel sorry for him. The only person who suffers from his ill whims is himself. Pity him, really. <laughs> a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to the old man. He wouldn't take it from me, but may he have it nevertheless. To Uncle Scrooge. Pity? Me? But how? I am the richest man in the land, and yet I am pitied by my own blood. I have denied her year after year, and yet she is not angry. Rather, she toasts me. My life, My life upon, upon this, globe this globe is very, very brief. brief. It, ends it ends tonight. tonight. The, time the time is drawing, is drawing near. near. of the ghost of Christmas yet to come? Ghost of the future, I fear you more than any specter I have seen. You are to show me things that have not happened but will happen in time. Is that so? Spirit, will you not speak to me? But as I know your purpose is to do me good, I am prepared to bear your company. Lead on. The night is waning and time is precious. Lead on, spirit. No, I don't know much about it either way. I only know he's dead. When did he die? Last night, I believe. Why? What was the matter with him? I thought that old pinch fist would never die. <laughs> Just to spite us all. <laughs> Spirit, I, I know these people. These are clients of mine. Who is it that they speak of? It's likely to be a very cheap funeral, for I don't know anybody who would go. Uh, I'll go if lunch is provided. <laughs> <laughs> What has he done with his money? Ah, uh, I haven't heard. All I know is he hasn't left it to me. Oh, buried with him, I presume. Old Scratch clutching it. <laughs> oh, yes, breath. Oh, I see. <laughs> the 
case of this unhappy man could be my own. Let us go from here. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. The cratch at home, but it's so quiet. So very, very quiet. The light, it, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> They're better now. <laughs> it makes them tired to try to see by firelight. And I wouldn't show reddened eyes to your father when he comes home. It must be near his time now. Past it, he walks slower than he used to. These last few days, mother. He used to walk with Tiny Tim upon his shoulder. Very fast indeed. Ah, oh, there is your father at the door. Hello, my dears. Ah, oh, your needlework is splendid. His suit should be ready for the service on Sunday, yes? Where is the child? Where is Tiny Tim? Sunday, yes. You went then, Robert? Oh, yes. I wish you could have gone. It would have done you good to see how green a place it is. I promised him that I would, I would walk there on Sundays. My child. My little, little child. We will all remember how patient and mild he was. And we shall not quarrel among ourselves and forget Tiny Tim in doing so. Never, Mother. Never. Spirit, no. I can't bear much more of this. How is this fair? Tell me he has not died, for, for that Christmas has not yet come. Mercy of the heavens, what is this place? It is dark and cold. Is it a cemetery? Spirit, I am frightened. Gravestone. Before I draw nearer to that, to which you point, answer me one question. These shadows of the things that will be, or are they shadows of the thing that may be? <laughs> and the man who lay upon this grave, no oh, spirit, no, oh, no. Spirit, hear me. I am not the man I was. I will not be that man that I have been for so many years. Why show me this? If I am past all hope, assure me that I yet may change these shadows you have shown me. Oh, Spirit, tell me that it's not too late. I will hunt a Christmas in my heart, and I will keep it all year. The spirits of all three may thrive within me. my bed curtains. Oh, Jacob Marley be praised for this. It's all here. All of it. Good heavens, what to do, what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I am as happy as an angel. What day is it? What time is it? You there. Hello there, young miss. Sir? What is today, my lady? Why, it's Christmas Day, sir. I haven't missed it. The spirits have done it all in one night. Uh, young miss, do you know the big prize turkey in the window on the corner? You bet I do. Uh, Ramon.
remarkable young lady you are. Go and buy it and bring it to the address of my directions. I shall give you a shilling for your efforts and for a speedy delivery. I shall give you a rather hefty donation and many more for years to come. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Right away. Oh, and Merry Christmas. I'll send it to the Cratchits. It's twice the size as Tiny Tim. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge? Rita, my beloved niece, I have come to accept your invitation to join you later this evening, if you would still have me. Bless my soul. Of course. Uh, of course! You are most welcome, Uncle. And th this is the most miraculous of miracles on this merry, merry morning. I am so sorry. I have been remiss with my time. Please forgive an old, tired man who has at last found his way. Oh, Uncle, how I have wished and waited for those words. Well, I shall see you this evening for a delightful meal and company. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Why, Mr. Scrooge, what brings you to our humble home? Cratchit? Uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Bah, I have come to tell you, Bob Cratchit, that I am not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer, that I have decided. Now, would you listen here, Mr. Scrooge? Mother, please. Yes, woman. You may wish to hear this, too. Cratchit, as far as coming into work today, well, I want you to have a Merry Christmas indeed! Ha <laughs> ha! A merrier Christmas than I have given you in many a year. Spend the day with your family, Bob. A splendid Christmas dinner. I have procured for you the finest turkey. <laughs> I, I'm at a loss for words. And I am raising your salary and making you my partner. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. No, Bob, thank you. And I shall endeavor to assist your struggling family and do everything I can to get the best care for your Tim. I'm feeling dizzy. Oh, oh, Emily! Mother! Mother! Oh dear, get, get her some eggnog. Mr. Scrooge? It is a miracle from heaven. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge! Merry Christmas, my little one. And where is that darling of a boy? Tiny Tim, I presume. We're on some tart. There's the wee lad. Merry Christmas, Tiny Tim. Happy Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. And as it was, Scrooge was better than his word. He was? He did it all and more. And to Tiny Tim... Who did not die. He was a second father. He became as good a friend, as good a master, and as good a man as the good old city ever knew. And it was always said of him, that he knew how to keep Christmas well. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, Bless us, everyone. And though our show is done, we hope it brought you happiness and joy. The holidays are here, so pull your loved ones near, and make each moment one that you enjoy. There's nothing we can't do if we honor me and you. So have a happy holiday today. Just pass along a smile. A 
as it travels miles and miles to everyone who needs it on this day. Here's to all who needs to Follow